have been called uh, by the, what recently the well-being, sorry, the Jabatan Kuasa Persijatan Rakyat for strengthening laws to punish scammers and hackers. Punish scammers and? Hackers. Hackers, yeah, yes. So just want to know what's your take on that. Yeah, uh, under the ministry, we are looking at several key uh, and, and very important uh, legislative amendments, including we, we are working to amend the Personal Data Protection Act to make it more robust, uh, to make sure that uh, those who hold on to data uh, are more responsible about protecting the data that is in their, under their custody, in their custody. Um, and, and to ensure that more sectors are covered uh, because in this day and age um, almost every sector has some kind of data that it uh, processes or it keeps that's one secondly we are uh, uh, having uh, quite deep discussions and quite advanced discussions about uh, merging NAXA and Cybersecurity Malaysia CSM in order for us to move towards forming a national cyber security commission, Suruhanjaya uh, Cyber Security Malaysia, a Malaysian Cyber Security Commission. Um, we are some ways away because we will have to bring a piece of legislation to parliament. Uh, kita belum lagi sampai ke peringkat di mana penumbuhan itu uh, boleh berlaku kerana kita perlu bawa raun undang ke parlimen. Tapi ini antara beberapa perkara yang kita lihat perlu kita lakukan untuk memastikan data rakyat selamat dan tidak boleh dicuri dan disalahguna untuk aktiviti-aktiviti skema. Uh, itu yang boleh saya sebut uh, di bawah uh, jagaan ataupun kelolaan KKD. Tapi yang seperti kita semua sedia maklum, aktiviti seperti skema juga ada elemen-elemen mungkin jenayah di luar Uh, kawasan uh, perundangan negara kita maksudnya dia mungkin berlaku di negara-negara lain negara-negara yang tidak terlalu jauh dari kita dan di situ kita lihat usaha sama ataupun kerjasama di antara uh, polis di Raja Malaysia dan pihak polis di negara tersebut uh, mampu uh, menangani masalah tersebut dengan membantras aktiviti ataupun sindiket yang membolehkan skamer-skamer ini uh, membuat panggilan ke Malaysia uh, pihak SKMM juga telah memastikan bahawa uh, ada mekanisme untuk menghalang panggilan-panggilan ataupun SMS-SMS skema uh, dan saya telah minta agar pihak SKMM meneliti apa lagi yang perlu kita lakukan 